Welcome to a coin deposit lock for shopping carts. This model has the arrow shaped bolt. Yeah, I was in a scrapyard recently, I found a demolished shopping cart and I was lucky enough to be able to extract the lock. So here we go, we have a new type of lock with an arrow shaped bolt. If you don't know how this looks like uh, in reality, I made a picture from a shopping cart, a parking lot so to speak, where all the shopping carts are connected to each other by a chain and the uh, bolt at the end. And if you want to uh, go uh, shopping, you have to insert your coin inside the slot and then the bolt from the other shopping cart releases and you can uh, yeah, drive away. When you come back, you push in the bolt again and the coin gets free. So, that's the shopping cart coin deposit lock. Pretty simple how it works. Of course, we want to take it apart and look at the internals and then find ways to defeat this mechanism. So, first I want to get it disassembled. So here we go. Now we can look uh, at the bottom how this looks like. There are some white plastic pieces and some black plastic pieces interacting. We can see how it slides in, pushes this white plastic piece to the left and the coin gets free. Now the bolt is locked and when we insert the coin bolt gets free again. So let's take it apart further so we can have a look at the internals. Okay, so first let's focus on this part that accepts the arrow shaped bolt. Mm, I will take out these pieces here because they jump around if I push down or push these these levers here. So this needs to be under spring tension, these black pieces here. And now when I insert the bolt you can see how the arrow spreads these two black pieces and now the white piece has just enough room to slide through and what is important here is this area here and that area here. If you don't have a bolt like this, you just use a screwdriver, you can see how it engages here. These two peaks will not, oops, will not slide against each other. will not slide against each other and if you push the two pieces too far out like like this this edge here blocks the, the movement so you need to have the exact right shape for this white piece to slide through of course if the cover is not on top it's a little bit hard to demonstrate oh, well, I think you got the idea. So from the other side it looks like this. So this would be the state where the bolt is inside and it cannot be removed because of um, these pieces here. So now you cannot just uh, push in something uh, and try to get the bolt out of the way because this is under spring tension and here you again have the two peaks that engage and you cannot slide it through. But you first need to insert something that spreads the two black pieces like so and then the white piece can slide through and then there is enough room here and 
the bolt will get free. So that's how it looks like from the inside. What can we do in order to defeat this? Of course, for the for the coin, I will use my shopping cart pick, just a piece of plastic that I cut out from a plastic bottle. You can insert it here, wiggle around so that these two black pieces get spread and then this white piece gets pushed out of the way. For the bolt, for the simulation of the bolt, it's not that easy because you have the problem that you cannot um, if, if you push these two pieces too far away then um, you have the blockage here and if if it's too close together then you have the blockage there. So what I do is I have two, two meat skewer pieces here, two cutouts and I push them inside here and then I wiggle them around left and right at the same time and push in this white piece. So let me demonstrate this to you but first I wanna reassemble the whole construction. Ah, and by the way, funny, we can see here two brushes. I don't know why there are two brushes. Um, it's the coin side, so maybe that pre prevents the coin from, from shaking around, but I don't think that they are really crucial. <laughs> so, back together. Use again the rubber band. So insert the bolt, it's locked up, or it's locked in inside the, the housing. Um, I now use my homebrew shopping cart pick, insert it, wiggle it around and that's it. Now it's caught like a coin would be caught, but as it's flexible I can just pull it out, no trouble. Alright, um, let's use a coin push it in. As I said, if you just push in something and try to get the coin out, it's not possible because of these two plastic pieces here. So as I said, use two cutoffs from meat skewers, push it in and push in against the, the, the resistance here and you're done. It's like raking a lock actually. Pretty funny. Um, what else can you do? <laughs> you can use, um, for example, ah, you can, you can, um, just a second here, you can pick it half or you can engage half. So if, if you want to have the, the, if you want to get the, the shopping cart, you would normally insert the coin and then the coin is, is caught and it doesn't come out easily because these brushes prevent this from coming out. So when I um, when I could get a, a grip on it, let's let's pretend we could pull it out a little bit, it will not come out. But you can do something really funny. You can push it only in halfway, like so. Then the mechanism is um, in, in an intermediate state so that you can still pull out the uh, coin. The bolt is not yet free, but now you can just use something, like a key for example, push it in and you're done. You can drive away without your coin uh, in the uh, locked up state. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I always have this uh, shopping cart pick here with me and two little pieces of meat skewers. Alright, so that was a little bit of fun with an error shaped locking bolt type uh, coin deposit lock for shopping carts. I hope you found this interesting and enjoyable. And until we meet again, happy picking and exploring. Cheers and bye bye.